look at the really basic shapes. Let's just block in the nose. You'll notice I start with eye sockets before I really start adding like eyelashes and stuff like that. The lip line is sort of like this. She has really pronounced cheekbones. I think I put the eye sockets too low. So let's move them up so they're a little bit higher. Small indication of the nostrils. Crap, I think I made the hair too low. Okay, let's put the hair up here so it's higher. I like to start with the upper eyelid. I do want to do a slight indication of the eyebrows, maybe a little bit of the lower lid. I'm going to do another pass over the hair. We're going to actually put the skull in now before we actually develop the face more. So this is where it gets really weird. We have to like approximate about where is the nasal bone. You can see the shape of the eye socket pretty visibly on her. Eye sockets, they're not circles. She's got pretty pronounced cheekbones. And then they come in, they like slide in this way. Jawbone comes down this way. There's a little bit more the shape of the eye socket. Here's the side of the skull. Okay, that is easier to see now. Color in some of this because I want to be able to see a little bit better. It's a little bit tricky. I am going to add these like little dots. The human skull, it, it's pretty imperfect. Let's do a little bit of the teeth. Does everybody see this like super dark pronounced triangle here? I just want to draw the line that goes in between the teeth. I'm going to get the eyes so that they're like right on top inside the eye socket. I do want to take in some time and, and really darken this upper eyelid because it's very pronounced. That is seriously creepy. <laughs> the hair, I actually think it's lower than I made it. You have to think about like chunks of hair. You can't really think about it as individual lines because it's too difficult. The chin, a little bit more pronounced. With hair, you got to look at the direction of it. Like which way is it going? I'm going to pump this up, make it a lot darker. The hair is such a big part of her personality. For a lot of people, your hair really does sort of establish your identity in a way. Approximate where the top of the skull is. I guess it's like around there. I'm drawing the blue right on top. I don't want to do a huge amount of shading because otherwise it'll make it hard for me to draw the eyes. This little section here which is the jawbone. It actually is very slopey. You know what, I think I made the, the teeth too low. So I'm gonna move that up. That brings this triangular shape. The teeth are hard and every single tooth is different. This tooth I'm drawing now, it's like longer. This one you don't see very well. And then these are like scrunched on top. These teeth, they're not as wide. This front tooth, this one's sort of sticking out a little bit lower because you, you have to look. You really, really have to look. That's what I think is hard about this. I don't outline each tooth. I more suggest it. It's the spaces in between the teeth. That's really what you want to be searching for. This pencil is a little bit blunter. It's a little bit easier for me to do in the shading. It's almost like it repeats the shape of the teeth. Let's just get some darker sections. I want to really accentuate the shape of that jawbone. There, there's like a little chunk of skull, a little bit in the nostril. I don't want to do too much because I do want the nasal bone to be more visible. Slight little bump at the top of the head. Like it, it's really not as round as you think it is. These little bits of shadow that are coming up the side like this. I, I do want these eye sockets more prominent. Maybe the iris can be a little bit more bold. There's a lot of shading here that's coming down on the side. Let's shade some of the brown like over. Let me make the lower eyelid darker. I'm gonna do a little shading on the top of the forehead, maybe over here on the left-hand side, because the light really is in the middle. Let's get her chin going. I know this is weird because it's like, you're totally just drawing right on top 
of the teeth. But the thing is, it's like, that's really what it looks like. I guess the lower lip is like here. Maybe let's add some more shading around the neck. This section in the middle, does everybody see this? Two muscles that come down, it's like a V shape. This is really like the darkest part of the chin. It's right here. You don't wanna make the eyelashes too prominent because honestly, they're not really that dark. This is where your drawing can get messy. Sometimes I like to just get crazy in the last little bit of the drawing because I just wanted to have energy. I'm just drawing the hairs that for me really stick out a lot. I think that's more important than anything else. Hair can drive people crazy, but I love it. I think it's like so fun.